In this video, I want to talk about my favorite natural vitamin E source that covers more than you recommend a daily intake in one tablespoon. Because I hate videos that make you wait until the very end for the bigger reveal, the secret food I'm talking about is wheat germ oil. Wheat germ oil is one of the most concentrated natural vitamin E sources out there, and it offers benefits for your immunity, antioxidative protection, and cells. Let me use the rest of the video to explain these benefits and also tell you how to use wheat germ oil correctly. First of all, what is vitamin E and what are its different functions in the body? The three main ones are one, to act as an antioxidant. Similar to vitamin C, a vitamin E can be a very powerful antioxidant. Studies have linked a higher vitamin E intake to reduced oxidative stress and higher antioxidant defenses. Basically see it as a protection the body can use against inflammation and stress of all sorts. Next, you have cell membrane integrity. Even though vitamin E is only a minor component of cell membranes, so the outer walls of the cell, it plays a big role in its integrity. Once it enters the cell membrane, it fixes itself in place to stabilize it and give it structure. So without vitamin E as a stabilizer, cell membranes can more easily rupture. And lastly, it's also very important for neurological functioning. It helps avoid neurological problems, such as difficulty coordinating movements and speech, loss of reflexes in the legs, and without it, you might also get a burning slash tingling sensation in your extremities. The exact role of vitamin E in this isn't entirely clear, but the reason is probably because of its antioxidative properties that protects the brain and nervous system from inflammation and disease. Now, why should you use wheat germ oil as a vitamin E source? Like I said before, it's my favorite one. The recommended daily allowance for vitamin E is 15 milligrams. And one tablespoon of wheat germ oil already delivers 20 milligrams, so 135% of your RDA. So the secret is really its high concentration, along with it being an oil, so it's really easy to consume. Now, when you buy wheat germ oil, you generally want to go for oils that are cold pressed, so the oil was extracted mechanically instead of chemically. And you also want to make sure that afterwards, it hasn't been processed in any other way. Normally, the extraction of oil from wheat makes sure that it doesn't have any of the proteins or carbs that are normally found in it along with the fat. But because we want to keep the processing to a minimum, especially the chemical processing of the oil, there is the possibility of it still containing some traces of gluten. So I don't feel comfortable recommending it to people with celiac disease. And then there's also the question why you should use it instead of normal vitamin E supplements. Most of the products unfortunately only contain alpha tocopherol, which is only one of the eight forms of natural vitamin E. This is done for cost reasons and because alpha tocopherol appears to be the most active form. But that doesn't mean you don't need the other forms as well. And I personally believe taking large amounts of a single nutrient without its cofactors is never a good idea. So for my daily intake of vitamin E, I prefer to stick to natural foods. I do sometimes supplement vitamin E, but then in smaller doses and using products that try to mirror natural foods by including all four tocotrienols and all four natural tocopherols. Before I wrap up this video, let me also quickly tell you how to use wheat germ oil correctly. Like I said before, you want to buy a quality unprocessed one they can be quite expensive, especially if you go for an organic version, but this applies to all quality oils and fats. And I personally don't think you should be saving money here. This is your health. Because the oil isn't very heat stable, you don't want to use it for cooking and always store it in the fridge. And I personally like to either take it by itself, so one tablespoon a day, or add it to cold dishes. For example, I like to add it to my porridge in the morning. And that's basically it. There isn't very much that you can do wrong here. Because wheat germ oil still flies under the radar of so many people, I just wanted to share this with you. And I hope you like this video. I will see you in the next one.